first off, uh, what a what a beautiful facility. You know, we we've seen it on TV a little bit. I have you know, obviously it's my first time to see it in person, and it's walking through the the door. It's uh, it's something special, and uh, yeah, I know Oklahoma State's extremely proud of it. And you know, recruiting just got harder. That's what I see. So uh, you know, we're we're extremely excited to be in a regional. Uh, you know, it's nice that we got to take a bus instead of flying. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Yeah, Dave, my, my keen reporting instincts are telling me that Connor's here. He's starting. Well, we haven't announced that yet, but uh, since Connor's here, we'll go ahead and start him. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know a, a lady hadn't pitched quite as well, quite as deep. He obviously was pitching really great. Um, do you think having some extra rest will help him? And, you know, last year he was out for like two months. The year before, obviously, it was short in the season. Do you feel like maybe the innings caught up to him, and, and now that he's gotten a little bit of a rest, that, that'll help? Well, this is what we see, you know, and we use TrackMan and some other data. His stuff last weekend was really good. Um, breaking ball, velocity on his fastball, maybe he didn't locate it like he normally does, but his stuff, is it's not down. So we, we feel real good about Connor, and we think he's as strong as ever. Um, I don't think – you know, he's been, you know, it's not like we pitched him eight innings every weekend. It's, it's been five, six, seven, and uh, even days that he didn't have his best stuff or, you know, teams fought him a little more than others to get this pitch count up. You know, he, he's, been, he's been handled pretty good. So I think, uh, you know, he, he's in great shape right now. Connor, how are you feeling physically? And I know these last few starts haven't gone like you'd hoped, obviously. Um, but you pitched pretty well overall. Just how are you feeling? What, what are your uh, expectations going into tomorrow? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. I'm just excited. I think everybody here is very excited. We have an opportunity, and uh, it doesn't matter how rested or how I feel. I'm going to go out there and give it, you know, everything I have. I'm playing at Arkansas. I have a great opportunity, and uh, I think Caden can speak for everyone and saying we're ready, and I'm just ready to step on the field. Do you feel like you're like not just due for a really good start, but maybe overdue, you know, based on how you pitched earlier? I hope so. I think I'm not a big guy that believes in luck. I think you put in uh, your work, you prepare, and uh, it'll come to you. For Connor Kane, uh, how much has the, the downtime the last week or so helped you kind of get refreshed and uh, refocused? Just you know, just like Connor said, you know, I feel like we're ready and. You know, we've had a little downtime, and it's been it's been kind of nice, honestly. You know, getting our feet underneath us, and you know, just working as a team. And you know, there's only a few of us uh, that got to travel this weekend, and you know, I just feel like it's it's been a really good bond throughout the week, and I, I feel like we're ready. I think the same thing. Anytime you get a little off time, uh, you know, you get to relax a little bit. It's a long season. You have a little time to you know relax, kick your feet up, whatever helps. So I think we're ready and have our feet back under us. Maybe you're the best answer as coach. Uh, was, was there a, an emphasis on just getting away from the ballpark for a couple of days after you guys got back from Hooper? What was the schedule like? Well, I mean, I felt that was just common sense to give them a break. You know, we got back late on, on Friday, and they had an option, and it was a 100% option to a couple, an hour or two set for lifting both days. Didn't have to be there. And, you know, I was up there both days, and I'd see a hitter or two come in. I saw a hitter hitting off the tee underneath that, um, you know, some guys stretching. There was a couple of guys that had to throw a bullpen on Sunday to, to stay on track. That, But, you know, mentally they knew they didn't have to be anywhere. And uh, they'd go golfing, fishing, hang out, relax, just get ready for this week. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think it I think it was a good thing. Hey, Dave, you know, road to Omaha has got a million – ways for you guys. What, what is a postseason mentality for you as you <coughs> turn the page and try to get to the College World Series uh, yeah. through here? You did it in 15, so it's doable. Well, it's all about, you know, the team really coming together as a team and fighting for each other and uh, being healthy. You know, you know, jokingly, I've, I've made two comments uh, in our two practices on, or I, I told them we had one rule at practice, nobody get hurt. That was it. No one get hurt. And they kind of laughed about it, because you you got to be healthy. You got to have you got to have all your weapons, so to speak, if you're going to go into battle. And uh, I mean, this there's some quality teams here. We're going to have to be be on our on top of our game if we're going to get out of here. Certainly not the way y'all wanted to enter the, the postseason, but if, if y'all talked among each other and just kind of come together and get ready to go, you know, to this next step. 
I think the big thing is we're here. I mean, there's a lot of teams that are sitting at home right now wishing they'd have an opportunity to be in this spot. So I think we're thankful and uh, we know we deserve to be here and know why we are here. So I think we're just excited for the opportunity. Yeah, I agree. You know, we're, we're very lucky to be at this point. You know, we've had a we've had a pretty good year overall and you know, we're just excited to keep going and win one game at a time. Just for Dave, maybe the players could take it too. I mean, you guys have high expectations. I mean, you always have high expectations, but this year you were top five most of the year and then this season didn't end, the regular season didn't like you wanted to, but do you feel like you, the team's been under a lot of pressure? Maybe the pressure's off just a little bit, and if so, is that helpful? I don't, I don't feel like the team felt a lot of pressure. I just think that uh, we played some teams that played better than us, and maybe we didn't play great, and, and it happens. Um, but I, I didn't. We didn't try to put pressure on. We never really talked about winning the West. We didn't talk about winning the overall. We just talked about you know playing good that day, and um, you know we had to finish on the road. We, you know Vandy came in and was hot, but you know those days are over with. We're it's a new season. Nobody's got a batting average here, and and you know uh, in a regional or hasn't pitched, and it's all it's all it's all right there in front of us. So you know our thing is it's. It doesn't matter anymore what we did. You know, you, you guys keep bringing it up. Who cares? That's the way I look at it. It's all about from here on in. Whoopee. That was, that was then. It's now, man. Yeah, each of you play, maybe Connor and Caden take that too. All right. <laughs> I think it's the same thing. I mean, you know, the, the regular season is the regular season. It's over with. Uh, we have a new opportunity here. Nobody cares about what happened. I mean, it happens. Baseball is... Baseball, stuff goes bad, stuff goes good. So you get a fresh slate, you get to write your own story from here on out. Yeah, I agree. They, they both said it really well. And it's like, you know, we're just focused on this next game. You know, we got to win that one. And we're going to do everything we can, give it all, give it all, and uh, just focus on that one. Past, past Connor, have, have you decided what your rotation looks like, or will that be based on who you match up with? Maybe? Yeah, we're not, we're just talking about tomorrow. Tomorrow is. We'll, we haven't even moved on from, you know, if this happens, if that happens, we're, we're going to sit right here and play at 12 and see what happens in the, in the evening game, where we're at, and, and we'll go from there. You talked about taking away the lineup a little bit. I don't expect to see the lineup until later tomorrow, but uh, did you, you do some more thoughts on that and just kind of? Yeah, I mean, uh, it'll be pretty much the same guys that are in there every day. We might move a guy around here or there and, uh, you know, that, that's really about it. You know, there's some guys that have a little more experience at this level, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move them to some spots that hopefully they can do some damage. Aiden and Connor, now that you guys have the chance to kind of scout Grand Canyon a little bit, what have you seen out of them, both from a pitching perspective and also as a hitter? Um, you know, we haven't done much about that yet. Um, you know, we know they're a really good team. They've had a really good year. And, um, you know, it's just going to be a dogfight from the beginning. And throughout the whole game, you know, we're just excited. We, we kind of know their kind of game a little bit, and uh, it's a little bit different than ours, but, you know, we're, we're just excited to be out there and compete with them. I think he covered it, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure out more later today once we do our scouting reports and all that. But they're a tough team. They're here, and we're just excited to play them. Hey, Kay, what do you expect from Connor? I hope that's not too awkward to <laughs> sit next to you, but what have you thought about his season? What do you expect from him? And then also, um, Marcus Brown was saying you, you guys are like best buddies. Just wondering, um, just what you think of him and seeing him over here and stuff. Yeah, so on Connor, you know, I expect the same thing that I've, I've expected all year. He's going to give us his all. Even if he doesn't have his stuff, it's, it's going to be a really competitive game. And, you know, we haven't really, as an offense, helped him much this year. And, you know, that's our goal tomorrow is to, is to help him. And, you know, he, I think personally he's done really great all year. And, you know, he's given everything that, that we, we could want as an offense on the mound every Friday. And on Marcus, yes, yeah, so we grew up playing together. You know, he's from Springdale. And um, he's been a really good competitor. And he works one of the hardest workers I've ever seen. And he's just a really good dude. And we've played together for about six or seven years. You feel like on travel ball and stuff? Mm -hmm. okay, yes, sir. Cool. And I mean, for both players, I mean, do you guys feel, I don't know, is there extra motivation with the way the, the, the season ended? And, you know, Argus has this history, you know, with Dave of, not doing great. Like the last time Arkansas went on to in Hoover, you went to the World Series. The, the last time, you know, in 09, lost the last eight SC Rarishan games, went to the World Series. Last time we were still our number two seed, went to the World Series. 
But do you guys have a little extra motivation um, because of the way things went and out in the state of Alabama? I don't think there's extra motivation. I think we've had the same motivation all year to you know, get to this point, have the opportunity to play here and be in a regional. So I don't think the end result of the season really pushed us any further anymore. It just kind of kept us on track, and uh, we've kept our heads down and put, put in the work. Yeah, I agree. You know, we just knew we had to get here. We're here now. The tournament's starting, and all the work we've put in throughout the season and off season comes into play now. And you know, we're just focused on the first game, and you know, take care of itself. I know you guys would probably rather be at home. Well, they probably know probably about it. But Robert Moore, you know, he was on his radio spot the other day, and he said, you know, all the, the players have done a lot. You know, won SEC championships, won tournament championships, all that stuff. But has, has never played in a regional on the road, and that's kind of exciting. Even though you'd rather be at home, is it kind of exciting to, to come to a different place for a regional? It's something I've never done uh, in my career here, so it's new for me. But uh, it's, it's definitely different. I mean, you kind of get to be the bad guy, I think. You know, you come into a different uh, facility, a different environment, and, uh, you know, play some games. So it's exciting, and it's a new opportunity for us. Yeah, I agree. You know, it's exciting coming here and play at this beautiful place, and it's a really nice town and really good facility. So, you know, it's definitely something we've never done, and it's pretty exciting and from my standpoint. Colin, Coach, maybe you guys can both chime in on this, but uh, last time or last week we heard from Michael Turner said that this week uh, – your, your basketball location was going to be a point of emphasis. Uh, how are you feeling Feeling good. Got a lot of good work in my bullpen this week. Uh, you know, kind of the same structure as always, but, you know, I felt really good about it and feeling fresh and ready to go. Helping in the room, Michael obviously had some things said about him that uh, you might have been out there in the news. So have y'all seen how he's reacting? Have y'all rallied around him? I think the whole team is with, I mean, we're with each other. I mean, this is, this is our team and uh, we're here to support each other and do all we can to uh, figure everything out. So I think, you know, Michael's one of the best catchers in the country from my perspective, and I'm just glad he's on our team. I agree. You know, I thought it was really good that he came here, and um, he's been a really good player for us, and we know he's going to continue to have success, and he's just a really good guy overall, so we have his back no matter what. Last couple questions. Justin Seeley is here at this regional. I wonder just what your thoughts are on his career progression and uh, everything that he's accomplished so far. Yeah, Justin played for me at Nebraska. Came out of a junior college in Texas. We recruited him to swing the bat a little bit. He was left-left, played first, DH for us. A couple teams went to Omaha, and, you know, he stayed and worked at, I think, at Nebraska a little bit, and, you know, he ended up you know, coaching at A&M for many years. And uh, when Coach Childress wasn't, a contract wasn't picked up at the end of last year, um, you know, he applied for the job here and did a great job getting it. And, uh, you know, he's he's done an outstanding job. He's a, he's a worker, tireless recruiter, and loves to work with hitters. So I'm happy for him and his family. Hey, Dave, as far as, I don't know if you can feel for him in practice. I was talking to Dave Jordan, uh, I can't remember, it was earlier this week. He's going to come over here a lot, Scott. He said he thinks it's a hitter-friendly park. What what have you seen from him, Connor? I don't know. Do you think it might be a hitter-friendly park? Or? I mean, we haven't played here yet. Um, wind was blowing kind of out of the north somewhere today. I don't know what. Um, I mean, if you hit it, it'll go. Um, I would imagine like any park in the Midwest when the wind, that's set up like this, by the south, southwest, southeast, and you get an Oklahoma day with the winds blowing 20, the ball's going to fly. Uh, but the way I look at it, same for every team. And uh, it's uh, yeah, it looks like just a, a fun place to play. Yeah, you have any thoughts on that? I think it's the same thing. It might be. I hope it is for our hitters. And uh, they put the ball in the air and it goes over. But the wind was blowing in today, so we really couldn't tell much. And Dave, I guess I don't think they've announced the starter. Came, they throw their freshman. Yeah, you think so? Because Howell's been their number one guy apparently all year, but you think they'll, they'll throw That well, freshman was, I think he was player of the year, pitcher of the year in their league. Got like 107, 109 strikeouts in 80 innings. So uh, I think he's 8 and 4, 14 starts, something like that, or a few out of the pen maybe early. But, you know, either way, they have two great options, maybe three. I don't know. Uh, so. You know, we're we're just we're just going to be ready for whoever they throw out there, and and you know, it's like it's all it's all about our team here. So we're just going to try to play well while we're here. Assuming it's Avita, hopefully I'm not mm -hmm. butchering his name. What what have you seen from him? 
Uh, just a lanky kid with a whippy arm, um, three-quarter slot, movement, runs away from lefties into righties. You know, I mean, the scattering report talks about velo and all that, but, uh, yeah, about all I got for you right now. Anything else? Well, while we've got the group here, is there anything else that we missed that's important to you guys that, that you would want to at least have? I'm good. <laughs> all right.